check where your mind is right now. The Jhanas used to say, yeah, check to see whether it's leaning forward or leaning back to the left or the right. Leaning forward means leaning into thoughts of the future, leaning back thoughts of the past. Left and right are things you like and things you don't like. If you see that it's leaning in any one direction, trying to bring it back so it's sitting up straight. It's right here in the present moment. What if it comes by, you just let it come by. You don't have to get involved. And then you focus on the breath. And that's where you get involved. When the Buddha was teaching breath meditation to his son, he started out by saying, make your mind like earth. Earth doesn't react to disgusting things thrown on it. Make your mind like water. Water doesn't get disgusted by the th dirty things it has to clean up. Make your mind like wind. Wind blows disgusting okay. things around, but it doesn't get disgusted by them. Fire will burn disgusting things and not get disgusted. I was trying to make your mind re non-reactive so you can trust it. The non-reactivity is not the goal right here. It's the first step in learning how to be more reliable in how you observe things. Because when you focus on the breath, this is where the Buddha says to train yourself to breathe in different ways. Breathe aware of the whole body. Breathe in a way that calms the breathing. After having refreshed yourself and energized yourself, then let it grow calm. These are things you do. These are things you experiment with. And because it's an experiment, you want to be a good observer. So you can figure out, when I do this, are the results good? If I do that, are the results good? So the non-reactivity is the first step. It's like mindfulness 1.0. But then you've got to move on to 2.0. We're actually mindful that you've got to create good states of mind and maintain them. At the same time, anything unskillful comes up, you've got to undercut it. The Buddha's image for mindfulness is a gatekeeper at the gate to a fortress. It's on the edge of a country, so there may be enemies from the neighboring country for trying to infiltrate. So the gatekeeper has to know who to let in, who not to let in. And the gatekeeper just doesn't sit there confident that his presence will scare away the enemy. He's got to be very observant. What kind of skillful qualities do you let into your mind? What kind of unskillful qualities do you keep at bay? These are things you remember. That's what mindfulness is all about. It's remembering. The alertness is what watches. And then there's ardency, which tries to do this well. When you get all these qualities together, that's mindfulness 2.0, where you're taking that state of mind that is non-reactive and using it to observe what's good and what's not good, what's skillful, what's not skillful. That's how you get on the path and stay on the path. Because after all, we're trying to not only abandon unskillful things, but we have to develop the skillful ones. We can't just depend that our natural goodness will take care of everything. Because the mind's nature contains both good and bad. Ill will comes to us just as easily as goodwill. Greed comes just as easily to us as lack of greed, sometimes easier. Which is why we have to develop good, skillful qualities to counteract these things. So get the mind still, get the mind sitting up straight, and then you can put it to work and get results that you can rely on. <laughs>